Hey guys, this is Pixel Fiend Tech here and welcome to a um, kind of little editing tutorial thing now. I'm a bit sorry about the lighting. I'm pretty orange in this video, but it was the best I could really get. Okay, so let's get into this. So today what we are going to be doing is um, editing a video in Coral Video Studio Pro X6. I'm just going to take a video in, um, edit it, show you all the main features just so you can get an idea of how it works. Okay, so um, here we are, and first what I'm going to do is open up um, my documents, and I will just head over into pictures here, um, actually, no, I will go into videos, um, YouTube, and I'll just find here is an app review I did a while ago, and you can see I just dragged it onto the track. Now, if at any point I wanted to cut it, you can see um, if you move on to project, you have to do that to cut it. Then you can drag from here, you can drag along to, I would say, here, and then press the scissor icons. And then you can see here you can cut it, and you can then move that around into different tracks, um, things like that. So what I could do here, for example, would be um, if I right-click on this, bringing up this menu, and then click on Custom Motion, um, you will then see a window pop-up with the video in it. So at the start here you have your first keyframe. So what you do is you pick the positioning of the video. So I'm just going to make it full screen for the first keyframe. Then the last keyframe, which what I'm actually going to do is delete the last keyframe. Key so um, if I just click on it and press... F sorry, um, yes, so I just click on it and press delete but okay this isn't working for me here I'm sorry but um okay so it is moving yeah so you want to move your keyframe into place so now I have my keyframe here and what I'm going to do is make the video really small um, so I would never actually do this as an, in an edit but I'm just going to show you so now if I quickly drag it along but make sure I click project because basically if you have it on click clip sorry um here then that will only play the selected clip whereas project will play the whole thing so now you'll see if i drag the slider along here it will start getting smaller you'll see gradually it gets right into the middle and then at the end in the outro it does grow a bit um so you can just see if i press play i'll turn the volume down there um you can see it does just begin to get smaller into the distance so that is a cool effect you might want to use um, also what I often do is if you go on to sound mixer just click there and then you can see the kind of sound level so at any point you can grab the sound level um, and just make another little keyframe and move that up or down to change the volume of it so say there was a part where you accidentally moved closer to the microphone then you would just um, bring the audio down there and that would sort you out. You can also change um, uh, a bit more in the audio settings but I'm not going to do that in this video. Also I find this very handy for cutting. So example, say I make a mistake here, I pause like that then um, and restart here. Then I'm not going to be able to really guess where I started speaking. So what I can do here is um, look and uh, at where the sound waves start. So you see a gap where there is just kind of a straight line and um, you can see there is um, not really m much sound there. Now that is where I'm silent and then so what I would do is just select the part just before where the sound comes in and then I can cut it there and it shows me where I started speaking. I would just like to quickly apologise for the fact that there is now no picture of me. Now this is actually due to the fact that my camera has just run out of battery. And not only that, my microphone has also mysteriously stopped working. So I'm now actually recording this on a rock band microphone. So please bear with me, but I'm hopefully I will still be able to get the point across to you. Okay, so um, now I will sh uh, show you 
I'm adding in uh, another clip so I will just drag this down into the overlay track and you can see it just snaps on to the same place um, at the end of the clip before. So what I'm going to do is add some uh, effects for how I'm going to transfer across. So here you can see you have crossfade and things like that so I'm just going to click it and drag it on top and then you will be able to see here if I play across it, it just fades across. Um, so that's a nice transition. I will put it back onto project here. Um, select my clip and I'm just going to drag it along a bit and click the text icon. Now you can see all the different types of text here. Um, you can have all these fancy animations and to do um, to get to click on it and just drag it down on top of where you want that text to be um, in the little text bar but I don't actually want that I just want static normal text just saying um, what I want so what I, all I do is double click on the preview um, sampler there and then on the right hand side you can see I can change the font and all that so I'm just going to quickly type in this is a tutorial and show you what you can do so if you just click somewhere else then you can drag it in um, wherever you want and um, you can change the size of it and then just click on it and I'm going to change this to a capital T of course um, and uh, using this little green thing you can change where the shadow is now you can actually see that here but you will be able to see it later on so um, these let you rotate it so you can just spin that in a circle there um, and basically you can do whatever you want with the text like change the size, colour, font um, now this text didn't actually show up so I'm just going to put it back in there for you so um, just bear with me as I type this okay so I can just drag that in and here you can see that shadow just um, on top of the picture now if I just go and grab the little blue circle you should be able to see the shadow moving around behind it it's a nice feature and of course if you wanted you could just put the shadow back to the automatic place behind the text so you can't see it if you just don't want that there um, so to change the length of the text all you need to do is hover over it so you see this little funny arrow um, hold down on your mouse and then you can simply change the length so there you go you can see I made it longer um, now what I'm quickly going to do is just play it so if I just take it back to a place where you will be able to see the text now if I play um, you can see that the text is just on the screen and then it disappears when it comes to the end of that little section so um, now what I think I will show you is just some of the simple tools like for example the undo button so it's just situated above the video track here and it allows you to do some really quick access so you've got the undo and the redo button just right there so you don't have to go up into the edit section and do things like that so um, that is uh, quite a handy place for it to be it's extremely easy to access um, now also to scroll along you have a few different ways you can use your slider up there under the preview you can use the small bar here or you can also use the wheel on your mouse so scrolling up on the wheel scrolls back and scrolling down on the wheel scrolls forward at least I think that's what it was um, please correct me if I'm wrong but believe me you can not do that now also you can change the size so here you can see I have the whole video in one small bit and then if I zoom back in you can see this uh, this little area here is about a second so that is quite zoomed in so you can get some quite accurate things going on there I like it just about at that point okay so now that we have edited the video and I've showed you how to change the size, how to undo, redo, scroll along the video, add text and all those things, now what you're going to want to do is save this file in something that you can export. Um, so for example if you, you just saved it now it would, it would be a file you would not be able to use, it would just take you back to the editing process. So, you can see if you click on share at the top you have 
all these different options of what you can do but I'm gonna click on this one create video file and it comes up with a list so you have MPEG4, WMV, I tend to use WMV but you can use whatever one you want also um, just uh, well, you can use Blu-ray and CD and DVD, obviously, if you're writing onto that. You can see all these different options for the qualities, and you can just choose that yourself. So, what I'm actually going to do here is show you the uh, 4K. Well, you may not know what 4K is, but basically, you should be able to see here the resolutions are unbelievably high. If you think 1080p... This is 4K, so it's almost four times the vertical pixels. So um, that is just for, uh, you know, possibly editing movies and um, very, very detailed files. So that is cool that it does offer you the chance to work with 4D. Um, sorry, 4K, not 4D. Um, I believe you can also use this in 3D, but I'm not too sure. Um, so I'm just going to go up here and click on um, WMV because that is the file that I like to use and I usually use that 1080p and you can see it just takes you to an uh, adaptation of my documents where I can choose the name, where I want to save it, etc. and I'm sure you're very used to that. Um, so uh, that is the end of this video. I really hope it helped you out. If it did, please like it and also don't forget to share. And um, if if you would like to see more of my content, sorry, content, I'm messing this bit up. Um, please, please subscribe to my channel. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. See you.